Hi there, so in today's video I'm going to do um, a colour change with you. Um, you can do a colour change with any stitch that you want to do, um, but you just have to make sure that you consider what that stitch is and yarn over um, at the right point for it when you do your colour change. So I'm just doing a half double crochet, which is the US terms, um, which is a half um, treble crochet in UK terms. Um, and I'm going to do a colour change in the middle of a row here. I'll do one in the middle and then I will do one at the end. So um, I start off to do my double crochet, my half double crochet by yarning over and then going into my next stitch, which is there. Pulling through, sorry, yarning over and then pulling through. So I've got my three loops. Now, the last part of this stitch is to yarn over and pull through all three loops at the same time. So this is where we bring the new colour in. So we, we get rid of the old colour. And then we get our new colour and we have to then, instead of yarning over with the green, we're going to be yarning over with the pink. So it's quite can be quite tricky to sort of hold it onto the, the hook and to get your tension. So I tend to do something like that. I keep hold of it there and then I get my, I wrap it around in the way that I prefer to. And then I, I get hold of it and then this then becomes the yarn over that I then pull through. Okay. There we go. Um, this stitch, the green here, has become quite loose because it is still attached. So I'm just going to pull that just to tighten up that stitch a little bit. And then put the tail of the pink to the back of our work. Uh, and now we carry on in pink. So a yarn over and go into the next stitch. And do it again. And then I can show you. You have this like perfect colour change there, so there's no crossing over of stitches or anything. It's lovely and smooth and neat. If um, you're sort of changing for a, at least um, two or three rows or rounds, uh, I would cut off the original colour as a, and leave a little tail that you can darn in afterwards. Um, otherwise, it'll get in the way. So I'm going to undo that for now. And then I'll get to the end. And if you want to change colour at the end of a row, this is how you do it. So I just get to the end of my row with half doubles. So the way you would do this with a, a single crochet um, would be when when you're yarning over to pull through for the to pull through the two loops that you've got left on your hook, you use your new colour. So the rule basically is that. Your last yarn over and pull through should be the new colour. So, um, right, now we've got to the end of the row, so I've got one stitch left here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hook in. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. And then it's exactly the same at the end of the row as what we've been doing um, in the middle, but it's handy just to see it here as well. So again... I'm just going to hold that there just so I've got my tension and then I'm going to yarn over, which can be the trickier part of this. That's probably the hardest part of changing colour is that trying to hold um, something that's not attached. And there we go. We just pull that green a little bit tighter there and then we do our chain ready to turn. And then we've got our pink chain there and we're going into that first green stitch there. So yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, pull through all three. And again, you can then trim um, off the uh, yarn, the green yarn that's still attached. Um, and make sure you leave a tail long enough to darn in, right, because otherwise it'll be loose and it does need to be sewn in. So, And there you go, there's your colour change. I'll just do a little um, example if we were doing a single crochet so let's get my green let's let's imagine we're doing a single crochet so we put our hook in and pull through so we've got two loops now for a single crochet it's yarn over and pull through both 
loops. So we literally just, for the final yarn over and pull through, you use your new colour. So yarn over and pull through. Create your chain and then turn. And so it would be the same with a double crochet as well. So that final yarn over and pull through, that's how you change colour.